Nady. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, um, a moment. Uh, so far, so good. Excellent expression. Very good. <laughs> uh -huh. So far, so good. Thank you. And everything is okay by your house? No problems with the rain, with the hurricane? Uh, no problem, teacher. No problem. Okay. Good. Okay. Rosa, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Excellent. Good. I'm glad. Rosa. Good. Sir is, uh, I, I can't remember the name. It's Sirian. Ciro. Ciro, teacher. Ciro. I don't, I don't know who put Ciro. But let me see. It's with an O, right? Yes. There, no problem. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Ciro. So how was your day, Ciro? Great. It was good? Yes. Okay. And what, what did you do today, Ciro? Uh, I just go to supermarket with my wife and my girl okay do they like to go to the supermarket what do they like to go to the supermarket yes i like i like it no no you they your wife uh, and your daughter yes they they like it ah okay i ask because my wife hates to go to the supermarket my wife oh. never goes to the supermarket Maybe oh, my wife, my wife, I love the a supermarket. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, that's the first thing we're gonna do. The example, like Ciro and I, just a few moments quickly talk to your partner and practice using asking questions, asking about the day, and asking additional questions to find out more information. Okay, we're ready. Good evening. All right, so let's make it. <laughs> the, the idea is we are going to talk about our day and ask your partner extra questions when they answer to discover more and have your partner talk more. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like okay. a conversation. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right, Josue, Mercedes, I'll send you to the groups. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sonia, Oscar, you guys okay? I don't hear you. Sonia, Oscar, do you have problems with the microphone? Good night, teacher. Ah, there you go. Good evening, Sonia. How are you? Hi, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Sonia. Are you ready for the class? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Sonia, it is today is your first day. I not. Did you connect yesterday, Sonia? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So then you know that we are right now in the platform. We are on exercise 1.7, guys. So right now we're looking at 1.7. All right. Let's take a look here. Josue, can you please read today's objective? Please read the objective. No, the reading. Lee lo que está asombrado, Josué. Okay, all right, let's go to somebody else. Sandra, Sandra, can you please read? Participants will practice making requests using models can, cool, good, and would you mind? Plus, Jeron. Thank you very much. Today, we're going to focus on making requests. Here are the expressions we're going to use. Now, remember, requests are to ask for something. For example, can you is a request. Can you please read? Okay. Would you mind reading? This is a request. Here we're going to learn some expressions 
to use for requests. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind? So if you see the three expressions, can, could, and would, is going to be only the verb normal. Only normal, right? With the verb in present, turn, close, or take. Now, would you mind the word mind we're going to change. The verb is not going to be in present. The verb is going to be with ing. Mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so the most important is this. These are the expressions that we use. When you want something, you can ask formally or informally. The most formal way to ask is, would you mind? The least formal way is can. So you can use can, could, would is the order from least informal to the most informal. Can is the smallest and would is the most formal. Is that okay? Yeah, teacher, but I have a question. Yes. What about then um, when you translate the, the, the sentence and the sentence said, uh, I don't remember. Ah, would you mind turning? No lo vamos a tomar diciendo, podrías encenden, encendiendo, ¿verdad? Como poniéndole, Bye. no me entiende, va. No. Que dice, would you mind turning? ¿Te importaría? Encender. Esa sería el, la traducción. ¿va? No, apagar. No apagar. Uh -huh. ah, apagar. Pero no, no, no se entendería. Eh, te importaría apagando el estéreo. No va. Ah, no sé si, si así hablas, pero. En no, el, no. no. Ajá. No, es que como ahí dice el, el pone el ING. Ajá. Eso le estoy preguntando, porque si pone el ING es porque la acción se está haciendo. No. Pero, pero no lo vamos a decir como si lo estuviéramos haciendo. No, no, no. La acción no se está haciendo. Así se dice porque would you mind es con ING. Ah. El, que el no problema es que lo estás... Exacto. El problema es que lo estás tomando como que si lo estás traduciendo literalmente. Ajá, literalmente. Ajá. Ajá. Es como una prima. Eh, yo no voy a ir al banco y voy a dar un cousin. <risa> Vos lo estás tomando literalmente y eso te va a dar muchos problemas. 
imagínate, ah, okay. yo, te, yo, yo digo, mira, tenés que venir al banco a dejar una prima y me llevas a, a Sandra y la vas a dejar al banco. <risa> y, 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 y te pregunta, ah, ¿y por qué lo hiciste? Tiene razón. Porque, porque prima, eso significa... Porque la prima. Entonces, ajá. ajá, no, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, el, lo primero que tenés que hacer, Eric, es dejar de traducir. Porque cada vez que vos estás traduciendo, lo que estás haciendo es creando una separación entre vos y el idioma. Porque en vez de asimilar el idioma, vos crees que es el mismo idioma de español. Y son diferentes reglas, diferentes alfabetos, diferentes palabras, diferente expresión. Tanto que, por ejemplo, yo te digo, hey, pásame una china. ¿Qué entiendes vos, Eric? Mm, no sé. una china? ¿Hablas español o no? Dame sí, pero china. nunca me han dicho eso. Ah, exacto, porque no, no, nunca te, y nunca te lo van a decir, porque no vivís en Puerto Rico. Ajá. Y como en China, un, en Puerto Rico, una china es una naranja, nunca te va a pasar, pero hablas Ajá. español. Entonces, Ajá. el hecho de que entendés inglés y sabes las palabras no significa que hablas, igual que en español. Lo más importante es no traducirlo porque lo mismo. Si yo te digo, hey, mira, Neidy, le toca hacer, le toca, eh, ella se encarga de las losas hoy. ¿Qué significa las losas? Son los trastes sí. sucios en Colombia. Ah, como yo no me sé los caliches de allá, entonces. Eh, exacto. Y ahí uh -huh. es lo más importante. Ya, ya. Eso es lo más ya importante. Lo Ajá. Y no son caliches, porque China es China. China es China, pero allá le dicen China a la, a la ¿qué? Ajá. A una ¿Y fruta? el popote? ¿El popote? La de pajilla. la pajilla. ¿Ah? La pajilla. ¿Y por qué le decís pajilla si es popote? No sé. <ríe> Eso es lo más importante, Eric. Aceptar que no sabes <ríe> y solo aceptar lo que significa. Porque cuando ah, vos okay. decís no sé, excelente, te abre mucho la mente para asimilarlo, pero si vos decís no, 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 es que no entiendo porque no me cabe a qué se refiere no, que te quede en, en el contexto y eso te okay. va a ayudar mucho eso te va a ayudar mucho para no tener que estar traduciendo a cada rato ajá, porque sí, ese siempre ha sido mi problema el estar traduciendo no, y, y yo sé, no vos, sos el, vos sos el número uno de la clase que habla español yo sé que ha sido y es, <risa> se nota, se nota que vos sos el de que yo quiero saber sí. qué significa en español y está bien porque a vos te ayuda, esa es tu forma de aprender y cada quien aprende diferente pero te va a ser más difícil ir avanzando y puedes llegar a un nivel alto teniendo que traducir todo. Ok. Ok. Pensalo, claro. ajá, pensalo como un, entre un carro y, y un mecánico y un conductor. Lo que vos estás haciendo es el trabajo del mecánico. Al conductor no le importa nada de la crema yegua, de la punta. Él solo quiere conducir. Y no necesita ser mecánico para conducir. Y eso es donde estás viendo vos las dos diferencias. Vos querés conducir siendo mecánico. Pero si me lo explicas, no, no lo vas a agarrar. Entonces, simplemente trata de usarlos. Trata de usarlos lo más posible. Y okay. vas a ver que entre más lo haces, más se te va a quedar y va a ser más fácil. Ok. okay. All right. Gracias. De nada. All right. So, here we go. <laughs> All of them are for requests. Request for the informal is can. The request for very formal is would. And the request normal is could or would. So friends can. A office or something a little formal could or would. For your boss or the supervisor, would you mind? It's okay? Yes. All right, great. So now what we're going to look, we're going to see many expressions. For example, here we have many questions, okay? And with your partner, you're going to read the six and decide what is the best answer. For example, if I say to Josue, Josue, uh, okay, can I borrow your, can I borrow $5? What is, uh, a, what is a good answer? Uh, are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Exactly. There you go. Are you kidding? I don't have any money. I live in El Salvador. <laughs> exactly. This is the idea. Uh huh. Or 
maybe if it's my family, if it's my mother, sure, no problem, right? If it's my brother. And this is the idea. So with our partners, we are going to go to exercise 1.9, 1.9. And with your partner, you want to complete it, okay? So 1.9 with your partner, select the best answers. You ready? Good, okay, no questions then. Let's go with five minutes.
All right, let's take a look. Let's answer the six together. What was number one? I think Josue had, had given us the answer before. Do you remember? Yeah, are you kidding? I, I don't have any cash. Okay, good. Thanks, Eric. What's number two? Really sorry, but I am busy. Okay. Okay, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Good, number three. No problem. I'd be glad to. Okay. What about number four? Sorry, I didn't Sorry. realize this seat was taken. Good. All right. Number five. I am sorry. I do it right away. Okay. Good. And number six. We're sorry. We'll talk more quietly. Okay. The course. Right. Yes, yes, yes. We'll talk more quietly. All right. So let's take a look how we have all of these right there. Pretty good ideas. Come on. Excellent. As you can see, we have many different answers. Now here, let's take a look. All of the ones that we chose were correct. Okay. Can you lend me $20? Obviously is talking about cash or a sandwich. And, and in fact, can you give me a sandwich? It could also be, sure, no problem. I'd be glad to, right? It, that could be another possible answer. Not only I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? Or the same way here. Uh, number three could also be, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy, depending on the situation. Then number four, we're good. Number five is good and number six. Any questions for making requests? <clears throat> okay, teacher. All right, good. So now we're gonna have our next objective, which is really quick. It's actually just a reading. So we're gonna read together and make sure that everybody is clear, okay? Here we have neighbor versus neighbor, okay? We, as you can see, we have quite a bit of information. Uh, the first person we're going to have is going to be here, number one, number two, here the third dot is number three, then we have number four, number five, number six is paragraph, number seven, and number eight, and the last person, number nine. I think we have nine people, so we should be okay, right? So Nady, number one, Eric, number two, Ciro, number three. Fernando, number four. Rocio, number five. Josue, number six. Sandra, number seven. Oscar, number eight. Perla, number nine. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's read it together. Number one. <clears throat> Together. The, <clears throat> the, the woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, the, fam the family across the street never cleans up their yard. Their yard. Uh, the garbage blows into your yard. Good. Number three. Number three. Let me check. The answer is a bother, bother or annoy. Miss, I think you're a little confused. We are in number three is the guy next door. There is no answer. We're reading. Yeah. No, I don't, don't have the question. 
Ciro, there is no question. I think you were distracted, Ciro. We are reading. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Rosa, can you please read number three? Um. Um. Only, con mm -hmm. Only continue the reading. The guy? The guy next door, a white parking is car in front of your light white. Okay, more or less. Good effort. Good effort. Ross. All right. Number four. Okay. How things like this ever happen to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing this thing to me? Number five. These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly way or say hello. But a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build, build up frustration and resentment. I continue? Yes, yes, yes. Finish the paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. You think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they don't do it deliberately. How do you say that word? The liberty. The liberty. Thank you. The next one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number six. Believe it or not, your neighbor probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they don't even know that they they are getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme means to fix the problem, you show this 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 truth it with them first. Okay. Uh, when you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Mayonnaise, manner, manner, mm -hmm. manner, compliment, compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Uh, then explain the situation and if you can think of a simple simple solution, so so yes, sit. Good, thank you. Number eight. Is, is taking the same word as another person to help this person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve this situation. Situation. Uh, situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending in the issue, it's, uh, it's my the best to use style of 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 your neighbor sway. Okay, good. First, let's take a look at some of the new words. What new word. what words are new for you? Can I? Yes. Uh, I'm going to spell it. Because okay. I don't know what is uh, A S S U E. A S S U E. A uh, uh, I creo que es o A. La I <laughs> se me olvida, confunde. La I es, es I. Ah, uh, entonces sería I S S U E. Ah, is the problem. The issue is the problem. Issue. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Any other words? Uh, pregunta, teacher. Um, yes. 
el, el último renglón del párrafo 9 no, no, lo, no lo logré de let, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se dice? donde dice um, I, miss, I miss be best to use style of, of eso me, me, me causa problema ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se dice eso? en la última It might línea be best to just stay out of your neighbor's way here. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, okay, gracias. You're welcome. It might be best just to stay out of your neighbor's way. Okay, gracias. Mm. And what is upstairs? It, in the second floor. So if your house has two floors, you in floor one, and then the second floor is upstairs. Ah, como un segunda planta. Correct. Ah. Yes, like okay. a second floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the man in manner? Manner, the way, the way you do something is the manner. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Teacher. Yes. I I have problem charging my cell phone. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's you probably. Mm -hmm. It's probably off. Okay. No problem. I understand. It, remember to finish unit one. If you are disconnected, finish unit one in the platform. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any my, other... name... Mm -hmm. my name is Fernando. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, for, Fernando. For yes. listening. Mm -hmm. Fernando Arturo. Yes. Yes, no problem, Fernando. Any other questions? What is delivery? Delivery, like Pizza Hut or Pollo Campero, they have delivery? Ah, uh, no, no, no. En lo último del, de, quiero ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, del quinto párrafo, la última palabra. Ah, deliberately. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Deliberately is, is uh, with intention. That they do it with intention, on purpose. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now that we read and you understand with your partners, we're going to go ahead and try to answer some of the questions from the reading. Here in 1.11, if you need to, you can read again the neighbor versus neighbor and then here, the idea is with your partner, what do you understand is the vocabulary? What is the meaning of these different words? Okay, so let me put in the chat. Number one is identify the meaning. Number two is Use them in sentences. Okay, so you're going to first, number one, the word with the meaning. This is identify. Then when you finish the, all of them, then activity two is you want to use them in a sentence. So one example, we have the word resentment. We have the word deliberately. So for example, I gave you the example of deliberately. What is deliberately? What is the meaning? On purpose. Correct. On purpose. Correct, on purpose. Then when I finish with my partner, the six, we check and then I want to use in a sentence. For example, deliberately in a sentence. 
And I deliberately, I deliberately went to work late yesterday, or I deliberately forgot to send the email. Is I did on purpose, I did with intention. It's okay, the activity, match the meaning. And then part two is use in a sentence. Okay, teach, all clear. It's all clear? All right, let's try with our yes. partners. Excellent, all right, let's try.
Being recorded. Okay, let's see. Don't worry, we're going to try it together. Number one, what is resentment? Anger that over time. On purpose. Anger. Uh -huh. Okay. Anger. Number two, we know that it was on purpose. What on about purpose. number three? Yeah. Brother are annoyed. Okay. Brother are annoyed. Number four. Monsieur. Brother are annoyed. Repeat. Brother are annoyed. Ah, no, brother are annoyed. We no. use the number three. Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't remember number. Oh. Are we all behaving? I step, step taking in order to achieve something. Okay, let's try that one. What about number five? A way of behaving. Okay. And number six? Can a problem or difficulty? Okay. Difficulty. 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 Oh, difficult. Difficulty. Ah, difficulty. Difficulty. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Good. Very good. Well, six we is... are stronger together. Teacher. Yeah. And the problem or difficulty. Number five is the way of behaving. Good. Number four is a measure, a step taken in order to achieve something. Number three, irritate, bother, or annoy. Number two, deliberately is on purpose. And number one, resentment, anger that grows over time. Hey, hey, look at the face. That is the idea when the ain't when you have a problem with your neighbor, huh? Now we're going to go with our partners first. It's okay, it's clear. It's okay, teacher. It's okay. Great. Okay. So now we yeah. completed, today we completed unit one. As you see, it's not very long or complicated unit one. The important is that you complete in the platform because tomorrow we begin unit two. In this moment, we're going to talk about things that annoy or bother you or how is the life in your neighborhood? Remember, neighbor is the person. The neighborhood is the area where you live. So do you have problems with your neighbors? For example, me? Hmm. I have one big problem with my neighbor. My neighbor has a chihuahua and the chihuahua every day goes poo poo in front of my house. <laughs> and it's something that annoys me. I get very angry, but not angry at the dog. The dog is not intelligent. I get angry at the neighbor because the angry, the, ang the, the neighbor is an adult and the adult has to understand the responsibilities for their animal. For example, this you are going to talk about your neighborhood or your neighbors and how is your relationship in your neighborhood or your neighbors and try to use some of the words, for example, irritate, annoys, bothers or other words in order to describe the relationship. It's okay? Well, yeah, it's okay. All right.
Atme. Okay. Any questions? No, no. No, it's okay. The vocabulary. Hi. Yes. I I don't understand idea. 
What idea, Fernando? Eh, de lo que íbamos a hacer. <risa> en la próxima, se pregunta antes de que se acabe el tiempo de practicar. <risa> de nada sirve ahora, pero la idea es usar el vocabulario y hablar de los vecinos. Oh. But it's good, okay. Fernando. I like it. I like it. Contame, Fernando, ¿y qué hiciste en, en el grupo? No, pues tratamos de, de, de ir y, y este, traducir la palabra y sí vimos que era vecinos y que el perro se hizo pupú y pues algo así, más o menos. Alguien sí tuvo una idea, hizo una oración por ahí, pero okay. I, am, I am not sure. No problem, no problem. <risa> Lo más importante es no tener temor a decir, hey, no entendí. Eso es lo más importante. Porque, ¿qué va a pasar? Cuando vos no decís, no entendí, se asume que entendiste y se espera que lo hagas. En cambio, cuando decís, a mí no me quedó claro, te puedo apoyar antes para que así tengas la oportunidad de practicar en el grupo, que es lo más importante porque es poco tiempo que tenés para practicar en el grupo. Pero me alegra que alguien tuvo la idea y más o menos eso era el concepto de hablar de tu experiencia buenas o malos con tus vecinos. Ok. Así que, Thank you. no problem, Fernando. Me alegra que preguntaste. En la próxima, solo hacerlo antes de la práctica para estar seguro. Ok. Great. So, tomorrow we are going to begin unit two. Ok. Ok. All right, guys. Okay, Have a good teacher. night. I see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Have a, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Good, good night.